guys, this is Sector Gen Winning here, and today I'm here with another video of how to speed up your router. So, let's start. So, first off, you need to go to your browser and then input your router's IP address. In most cases, it's 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. So, in my case, it's 192.168.0.1. Once you have to enter to your writer's page, what you have to do is is to input your default password which is admin or your custom password. Once you have entered the router's main page, what you have to do is, is to jump into wireless settings, scroll down until you see the manual wireless connection. Then here what you have to do is, first the wireless name should be uh, renamed with a unique word. So for my case, I'll put Techno Genuine, for example. It's unique, as you can see. It's Techno Genuine. I mean, you can see here that none of my neighbors are using my name. Well, anyways, let's move on. So when you see this 802.11 mod, what you have to do is, is to either pick 802.11 N only. Or you can pick mixed 802.11 and NG, but I uh, you can choose either of them. But I go for this one so that I can get a balanced network. And since I have some uh, G client clients devices, and then here uncheck uncheck this box. And then you have to pick either channel one, six, or eleven because these three channels are non overlapping channel. If you want to know more information about this, the link is going to be on the description below. And then what you have to do is, is go down, and this one you shouldn't touch. Uh, well, and here, channel width, make sure that it is 20 megahertz. You don't want to keep it 242 slash 40, otherwise you won't get the stable uh, Wi-Fi throughput. Anyways, let's move on. Security modes, keep it WAPA personal. Then here, WAPA mode. So if you're choosing the N only, then make sure to pick WAPA 2 only and S, Ace, whatever you call it. And then you press save settings. For my case, it's N and G, so I'm gonna pick WAPA 2 since the security uh, provides better speed and such and for here I'm gonna put tech up and ace to balance off the internet speed then I press save well you guys probably have noticed now that your router just restarted so it's not a big problem anyways go back to your IP address your router's IP address and then re -log in. Uh, give me a moment. Once you have entered your website, what do you have to, I mean your router, go to the network settings and then make sure to tick this off. It's not necessary, it's just gonna make your router a bit slower. Then what you have to do is, is to go to advance. Then on QOS, make sure it's disabled. Then on firewall settings, uncheck this, enable uh, SPI, uncheck this, this. However, for the LG config, make sure that all of it are ticked. And then go to advanced setting. And then here, what you have to do is, well, you don't have to do anything, I think. Anyways, go to advanced network. Uh, key, uncheck this. Then on WAN ports, make sure it's either 
auto or 100 mbps and then for here if you have this option make sure that it's unchecked and press save once you have done with the advanced section now go to the final section which is tools then go to the time then make sure the auto time and date, uh, date config is turned off because you don't want it to affect the internet performance now what you have to do is is to go to email settings and make sure that all of the boxes are ticked off then go to the system uh, well let's ignore that go to the firmware and make sure that your hard drive is always I mean your software is updated so make sure the firmware is updated so that you get a better performance and uh, bug fixes or errors whatever then yeah that's all for today don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button and let me know if you want me to make more videos like this instead of being a solemn person without any expression for example anyways guys once again bye bye